Hey everybody, it's Ab. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be talking about the makeup that I'm going to bring with me on my trip. And I leave in about a little over a week, so I wanted to go ahead and figure out what I was going to pack. It just probably saved me a little bit of stress um, next week, though I do have a day off. I don't have to, like, go get off of work one day and then, like, leave straight for there because it's several hours away. So they're giving me a day to, like, pack and get ready and then I leave the next day. So I'm um, excited about that and the trip and everything is going to be a different experience. But I wanted to show you, since I do a shot by stash every few weeks, I wanted to do one for the trip. And But I'm last, usually, I can't talk, usually I do only like the eyeshadow palette and the lipsticks that I'm using, maybe sometimes a foundation. But I want to show you everything. Like just makeup, not brushes or anything, um, but just the makeup stuff. So I'm going to bring two primers. A lot of these things you'll notice I'm going to bring like two, maybe three of each thing just because I want to focus on stuff that maybe is partly used up or almost gone and also focus on stuff that I want to get out of my collection like brands I don't support anymore and that kind of thing. So normally every day I use this e.l.f. hydrating face primer and I've had these primers from e.l.f. before and they don't last very long at all but this one has lasted me like a year. It's ridiculous. So I, it should be almost done. I don't know. So I'm going to bring this other one I have from Wet n Wild called the Photo Focus Matte Primer. Did I say this was the Elf Hydrating Primer? Because that's what it is if I didn't say it. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I'm going to bring both of these and the Elf one should be almost gone. This one, I don't remember exactly how much I've used it, so I have no idea how much is left. I mean, it's not like empty, empty. It doesn't feel like and then for foundations, I'm bringing the ones that I trust the most, and just coincidentally they happen to be ones that are almost empty. So the first one I'm going to bring is this Kat Von Disease uh, Lock It Tattoo Foundation. This one, I even as much as I disagree with the brand, like I say every time I mention this foundation, uh, it, it's a great formula. It lasts all day, so I, it's unfortunate that I don't use the brand anymore because this is a great foundation. For me personally, just because I get oily throughout the day and... Yeah, the, but so I'm bringing this, and I I would like to be able to use it up before then, but I don't know if I will be able to. And then this one is my favorite, hands down, of all the foundations that I own. It is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And this one is almost empty. I had it laying down in my drawer like this, and it settled out, and it was not very full whatsoever. So, but I do have a backup of this one, so I'm not going to be too upset if I do use it up. And that one, same deal, it lasts all day, not quite as long as the um, Kat Von Disease one, but almost. And yeah, I'm saying that name wrong on purpose, just in case you didn't catch that. <laughs> my arm is... Oh my gosh, is the microphone been in the shot the whole time? Oh. No, I can cut that out, it's fine. So for concealers, I'm using, th I'm bringing three different ones. First one is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I have used up one of these before, and this one seems to be almost out. I don't know if I use it every day while I'm there, if it's going to be gone or not. And I don't use Urban Decay anymore just because they are owned by Paracut and it's not cruelty-free, so that's my problem with that. Um, and then this one I talked about, well, I talked about all of these in my Vegan and Cruelty-Free Foundations concealer video. I don't know if that's up yet. I don't remember exactly when. I'm, I'm pre-filming, so I don't know when things are going to go up, but check that out. I talked about this one in particular being not so good and almost running out, so I am using it today, and it actually is not as bad as I thought it was before, so I don't know, but hopefully it'll be used up. I mean, you can see, like, there's not much left at all, and I've only used it a few times. Did I even say what this is? My brain's not here today. Let's see what model Illuminati highlighting and concealing pen. And then the last concealer I'm going to bring is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Light 10. I have like three other colors of this, but this one is the closest match, so I'm going to bring it. Um, the other ones are pretty similar, so it doesn't really matter. Just, I, uh, yeah. This one I do trust a little bit now that I know how to use it. When I first got these, I didn't know how to, like, I don't know. But my other concealers, like the Urban Decay one that I used for a while, is... A little bit of a drier formula so it sets itself a little bit before you have to put on powder and this one you have to put on powder like right away or it's going to crease but if, but if you do that then it's perfectly fine and then i bring two pressed powders so this one is just a representative one but i'm going to bring the physician's formula mineral wear talk for any face powder this one is actually one that i just repressed yesterday it was there was a tiny bit still around the edges 
but I do have a backup and I'll probably use this one up before I actually leave so I'll bring the backup so I have a full one and this one is good it really sets your makeup down at last and it also adds a little bit more coverage even though it says translucent it's not and then this one is the elf finishing powder I think it's their beautifully bare and um, I haven't hit pan on this one yet my other powder that I really really like is the Milani prep set glow and I do have a pan on that, but I don't want to use it up because it's my favorite. So I wanted to bring these that I do like. Like these are both, I like these a lot too. But the Milani one just looks so nice and makes like a filtered effect. So I don't, I didn't really feel like I needed that for this occasion. So I'll use these. Then I'm bringing one loose powder. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay. Or, uh, no, yeah, Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. So I got this a while back in a set from Sephora, like a Point and Perk or something. And I, that was like right before, like a week, not even a week before the whole Tarte uh, Shape Tape Foundation debacle. And I got rid of everything else that I had from Tarte. And they're also owned by Paracadena Stock Cruelty Free. So uh, I was trying to use this up. It was in a project pan. I used it up over half of it, but there's still a little bit left. So I'm just going to bake my under eyes with this. There's plenty for three weeks to do that with. So um, I'll just try to use that up. Just going in order of the, the way that I apply things to my face. I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Ticket to Brazil. This one is my favorite. You can clearly see with uh, how much I've used it up. I'm going to do around in June, July-ish. I'm going to do a video about all the products that I fit pan on throughout the project, the um, my know-by year because I feel like there'll be a lot more once I get going and uh, using it more often. But I do use this one every day. It's my favorite bronzer. I don't even hardly touch my other ones because they just don't, like the color is not as good as this one. So two blushes. So I have the Milani blush in Luminoso. This is very, very old, but it's a baked formula and I don't think baked formulas really go bad as fast as others. And I have hit a little bit of the, the plate thing here. So I like to make progress on this because it is my one of my favorite blushes and I don't use it that much because I feel like I don't want to use it up. But then it's like, if I wanted to repurchase it after my know by year, it wouldn't be a big of a deal because it's only like less than $10, I think. And this one I've been using a lot lately. I normally don't go for like pink, pink blushes. I usually like corally warm tone ones, but this one is nice. It is the e.l.f. Uh, what's it called? Primer Infused Blush in, this is the shade Always Cheeky. I wish Elf would put names of things on their products so I could like talk about it. But I like the packaging in this one. It's pretty sleek, unlike the um, Milani one. <laughs> Milani, I think, is determined that you have to have an applicator with your... Because um, this has a little thing underneath for like a little brush or something. And it has a mirror, which it's too small. I can't see anything in that mirror. But anyways, I wish there was a way to like depot this. I probably, I don't know. I'll probably break it because whenever I try to uh, depot something, I break it. And then for a highlighter, I totally forgot about this until I was looking through my drawers, so I'm glad that I looked. This is the Everyday Minerals the Velvet Eyes. It's a loose eyeshadow in the shade Fresh Glowing. I would use this as a face highlight. It's just a really pretty, like, very, very light pink shadow, and I could use it for my inner corner highlight or face highlight. If I don't want something quite as bold because I'm bringing the Ofra highlighter in the shade Pillow Talk. I have this one on today. It is not their brightest one. I think their brightest one is like Glazed Donut. And I don't know if that's going to show up or not, but I have to go really, really light handed with it. I did want to bring my, my um, Kat Von Disease one because it I want to use it up and I had repressed it so I think it'll be easier to use up but I had to repress it because it's shattered so I'm afraid if I put it in my suitcase it's going to shatter and I'm not even flying I'm driving but still I'm afraid that it's going to explode and get all over everything so I'm not going to deal with that that's why also why I picked some of these products I know they're not going to break and for a setting spray I'm going to bring the Milani make it last but I am going to also bring my backup because I did buy a backup of it. I mentioned that in my no buy update video. This one is almost gone as you can see. So uh, yeah, this is my favorite setting spray. I only have the matte one from Wet n Wild which leaves like white spots all over my face so I don't really use that one much. And then I have the Make It Dewy from Milani and I want to make sure that my makeup lasts. I don't want it to be dewy so that's why I'm bringing like um, 
like high performance foundations and powders and everything. So yeah, just bring, when you're traveling, bring makeup that suits the occasion. That's all I'm going to say. And then for brows, I'm going to bring a few things. I'm digging them out of here because they're small and I can't find them. So this is the Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Taupe. This is one I try to use every day because it's more cost effective to use this versus a pencil. But I'm also going to bring a pencil um, just for in case I have like a lazy day or something. It's the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil and this is the shade Taupe. And then I'm also, to go along with that pencil, I'm going to bring the this ColourPop Brow Boss Gel in the shade Blonde. So it's just a tinted brow gel. It's nothing fancy or anything. I do have their clear one too, but I don't use that very often. And then after I do my brows, something ticked. Like my phone or something made a noise like my camera did when it was, when like it would turn off, like I made the clicking noise, but it's still recording. But it's not the camera, this is the phone. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Room is haunted, I guess. And then for eyeshadow primer, I'm going to bring the Wet n Wild Photo Focus eyeshadow primer. I only have this one and the Milani one, but I think the Milani one's kind of getting expired. So I don't really want to bring that and risk having itchy eyes all day because I'm working long days. And the eyeshadow palette I'm going to bring is the e.l.f. Opposites Attract palette. I haven't, I purposefully avoided putting this one in my Shop My Stash until now because I wanted to travel with it. Because it has pretty much everything you need. It has warm tones and cool tones. It's got your transitions and colorful stuff and uh, shimmers and everything. So, uh, yeah, I really like this palette and I am excited to try new looks with it. I kind of stick to the warm side because it's what I'm comfortable with, but I'm going to try some of these uh, cooler shades on the other side. I'm going to bring one liner just on the off chance that I want to do liner, which I probably won't, <laughs> but this is the Ulta Classic Felt Tip Liner. And two mascaras, this one that I am currently using, it's probably on its last legs. Um, it's the Positions, Positions, Physicians Formula Killer Curves Mascara. This is my favorite vegan and cruelty-free mascara that I've ever tried. It holds a curl slightly better than other ones, which other ones don't. So this one holds a curl just slightly. It's a really hard to find a mascara that curls with, that doesn't have beeswax in it. So that's, that's the problem why some mascaras wouldn't be vegan. But this one is really good and it would repurchase it after all my other ones used up. And I have this one, the Pacifica, why can't I talk? Pacifica Stellar Gaze Length and Strength Mascara. I've had this one a few times before. It's okay. Not as good as the um, Physicians Formula one, but it'll do. And then I brought four lip products. I might bring another one. I'm not sure. I wanted to include Anastasia liquid lipstick in the shade Grim. It's like a dark grayish purple, but it's in my purse, so I didn't want to go get it, but I don't know if I'm going to bring it or not. And, um, but I have this one here. It's Anastasia matte lipstick in the shade Dusty Mauve, which is kind of a similar color. It's like a grayish purple. I never really like those kinds of colors. I just don't know how it's going to do with my hair because Grim is a little slightly different, I think. But I am going to stick with this one matte bullet lipstick and then the rest are going to be liquid lipsticks because I want them to last for a long time. And then I'm going to bring this Kat Von Disease. I'm tired of saying that. Kat Von D, uh liquid lipstick in the shade Bow and Arrow. which is a really good neutral color. It's easy to put on. It's not fussy like darker shades are where you have to make sure they're perfectly straight. This one, if it's a little crooked, it doesn't really matter. The, and then I have the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Beeper, just to get another neutral warm tone color. And then, last thing is this Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in the shade Posh Spice, in case I want to go, this is more of a cool toned lipstick, so in case I want to do a cool toned look with that palette, I have a cool toned lipstick to go with it. Alright, that was it for my Shop My Stash for when I'm traveling for work. Let me know what you think, if you have any suggestions on traveling with makeup, or... Um, yeah, just leave a comment, something random, I don't know, and give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.